Hello guys, I'm back in the video today. Um, today I'm going to be ranking the from worst to best of Walking Dead seasons. This will be from season one to seven. So uh, let's get started. I know uh, Larry Ray Wilson, you're probably going to be the first person to watch my video. I know. Um, so let's go on to the worst. The worst. Um, I'd probably put season two. I just thought season two, I just really wasn't comfortable with, you know, you know, throughout the whole season two, I think it was just, the, all you really saw was Carl being dead and stuff. Um, so I really don't like season two. It's, it's just a boring, um, I, I just didn't like it, um, in a way it was just, it was getting annoying with, you know, the, all you really saw was Carl and his sickness, and you saw all these good people die. It was just horrible. So at number six, I would put season four. Um, season four wasn't that as bad. Uh, seeing the governor uh, die, yeah, you'd probably be happy. Um, seeing Merle die, um, I don't know if it was like season three or season four, but seeing Merle die was horrible. Um, I This was just, it just, you know... It was it was one of those other seasons uh, where you know you just get bored with it. Uh, I loved seeing the uh, new kids like Lizzie and uh, Lizzie and her sister, where they killed each other and stuff. Um, I accident I love that part. Um, it was very it was very good. I did bail out on this movie. I I told my mom I don't want to watch anymore. This is getting boring because you know halfway through the movie, you know halfway through the movie, you know everything was just getting so lousy and drowsy, and I didn't like it. So let's go into number five, which I would put uh, season six. Season six, you know, um, I don't know what to say about season six. It was it wasn't so bad. Um. um uh, but seeing Negan's team uh, beating them all up, you know, that was the worst part, especially at the ending. The beginning wasn't so bad. Um, the new kid, Sam, uh, you know, you know, you knew he was going to die um, because of just how freaked out he was when all the when all the gates got opened and y y you couldn't even you couldn't even see a freak out. This was he was going to die. Um, number, uh, four, I would put, um, I would put the first season. The first season, um, I was, my mom said, it isn't scary, it isn't scary when she was first watching it. So I said, okay, I'll watch this, whatever it's about. When I first started watching it, I was fine, you know. Um, Shane, uh, you know, they always get in fights and stuff, you know. Uh, seeing Shane die back in season two, you know, that was bad. But, you know, this was before that happened. Um, when Daryl came, that wall, that was a phenomenal. Um, you know, he wanted to kill everybody. You see him with his pickaxe. He was like, <sighs> you know. Um, and, you know, Rick warned him, we don't kill the living. Well, look what's happening now. You want to kill the saviors. So, huh, yeah, look at the difference from 2010. To 2016, like, 17. So, yeah, it's a big difference. Um, let's go into number three. Yes, I believe three. I would put season three. Season three was, um, oh, I love season three. Um, you know, seeing the new, the new, uh, community they found, like the jail cell, um, but now that's passed on, you know, it blew up and they had to go to a new place and eventually they found, um, homes, but really no communities until season five. So it, yeah, it's been a big time square, and they want they want to find some place that is great. And unfortunately, Alexandria has stayed in the longest. Um, I loved when he killed the jail seller. That was a, an amazing kill where he just sliced him right in the head, and then you could see the blood dripping down. That was awesome part. Um, he, he was really good in this movie. Um, um. Um, seeing Merle die, oh, that was, you know, when Daryl was crying, it looked so ugly. You were like, oh, look at this guy. I can't even look at Daryl crying, especially in season seven where you saw, um, him crying because, you know, he killed Glenn and he was like, you know, he was covering up in his blanket. He was like, I can't even look, like, see, like, Daryl dying. I can't even, like, he is a very shy person, but he is fearless. 
fearless with um, everything. Number two, I'd put um, Season 7. Season 7, you know, I love Season 7. Man! Um, I am enjoying seeing Season 7. I hope, hopefully, uh, tomorrow on Sunday, we get to see a great episode, uh, looking at Negan, uh, back. You know, we're gonna see how he tortures Eugene and stuff, and see the reaction when Daryl left. You know, Dwight is, like, so depressed that, you know, he feels shocked that he, he even let Daryl come out and forgot to lock the door. He's just shocked. And... Um, this was a great season, very actionative. Uh, the kills were great, um, very creative. Not, no offense that I'm gonna say, you know, Glenn's death was great because no, it wasn't, but it was a creative death. Um, so yeah, season seven, yeah, I have to mark it at two. Um, number one, I'd put season five. A lot of people hate season five. I actually like season five. You know, it was a little bit of a throw off when Beth died, you know. But I loved how, you know, you could see uh, Rick with his big beard. I love that. Finding Alexandria was, oh, that was great. Um, I loved seeing um, when he finally shaved. It, it, he looked a lot, lot different. Um, his speech, his first speech in Alexandria where he was talking with uh, Spencer's mom, uh, he said, you should keep your gates closed and that was that was probably the best speech from him i love this speech um uh this was an amazing an amazing season um when they found the hospital and they killed the the police officer that was great um finally you got to see beth again which was great um you know it's been such a big time frame since you saw her um and it, it was just a great season. Um, you know, when I call these people the Robinsons, the people who tortured them in, like, the first few episodes, um, I like calling them the Robinsons. And then when they found the church and found Gabriel, you know how many people they found in this season? It was so great. You don't, you got, you guys don't even probably realize, but you know how many people you found in this season that are so great? You know, finding the church, finding Alexandria, find, you know, it's just so great. I love season five, um, when they killed, uh, the one team, um, in the church, you know, you know, Rick's like, I already met you, we already made a promise, and then he just slices him with his, like, machete, I can, in person, uh, I can, in person, uh, Rick Grimes, I can, I can easily do it, um, it's like, you should keep your gates closed, doesn't it sound like it, you know, I don't know what I mean. Um, so like or subscribe. Um, I really want to get done with this video because I'm feeling like this video is like 16 minutes long because how long I've been explaining this. So like or subscribe and I'll see you next time.